All right, so that's the van taken in, just around the corner. So just have a look at this church. <clears throat> got some decent age to it sort of thing 1800s a bit nice carvings on there nice porch hat is it open dead it <laughs> well, that's got that's got that's got decent age 14th century I would have thought can you get in can you get in no you can't never go in churches either <clears throat> Yeah, I like that, that's nice. I'll photograph it on the way back. This is Com uh, Comrie, by the way. There's no parking. What in them windows? How much? How much water in that river? Jesus! Just heading to the doctor's, take the stool sample in. <laughs> Trip to the doctor's. <laughs> Let's go and have a look what's down here. This is in a town, believe it or not. I mean, look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Comrie Fire Station. Got to drop, the, drop my poo sample off. Very flash doctors this one is. That's the doctors done with. And they're gonna have a look at this uh, old cemetery just outside town here. Oh I forgot about these, I've been meaning to have a look at these for ages. <clears throat> this stone circle dates to Neolithic or Bronze Age. Or for a stone is now left. <clears throat> yeah. So near the fixed stuff. Yeah. So they come 
countryside over there. Looks a very well kept churchyard, cemetery. Well I said churchyard, I don't know because there's no church here. That's a nice view when you come in here. I don't know what it is, is I don't know what it is with churchyards. They are so peaceful. What a beautiful churchyard, fill it again, cemetery. Classic a classic churchyard and cemetery tree. Forgot their names. Yule tree, you you tree, I think they're called. Well, I'm gonna just have a quick wander in and sit in the shade. So it's actually it's quite hot today. Beautiful backdrop over there. Don't see these names already, do we? You know, with the uh, quick being cremated and how the world has changed. On the outside, looks like the older headstones. <clears throat> I'll go and have a look in a bit after I've had a drink. Let me just have a quick look at this one here. 1887 yeah, they're about a decent age don't they 1893 <clears throat> like, a like a Celtic type of cross there beautiful I mean look at that what a beautiful cemetery this is Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Love the ivy on walls, I really do. I've always had a sense of child. So green. It's <coughs> a lovely cross. really see the can't really see it no no doubt on that can't see it oh hang on no 20 is it 18 or 17 23 can't see it properly hill backdrop over there. Oh, wow. <clears throat> oh that, that one that actually had running water once. 1897. Victoria can't quite don't know what that means here, Creaney Express. That's interesting, you don't see them, many of them. I'm going to have to sit there. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to give you a few, uh, few photography tips to how to uh, photograph in a churchyard so I'm going to do a mix of black and white and colour and today I've actually forgotten to bring my filters for the strong sky so I'm going to struggle a bit <clears throat> so this makes for an actually nice black and white uh, what I've done is I've put the clarity control on the camera uh, to set in free which 
brings out some detail in noise. So what you want to do is <clears throat> give it some contrast. Setting free on the contrast is a good one. <clears throat> I want to, because I'm in black and white here, I actually want to put the camera in the shooting, shooting information display histogram to brightness, not RGB. Just a simple shot. ISA 100 f uh, 3.2. Should bring out some nice mood I only need one shot for that so so this type of photo is what you want to do is try and show show the beauty of the of the churchyard and, and the stones not just the headstones here so I'm going to shoot in both black and white and color this time so I'm going to go low what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus here and have them ones out of uh, focus so the, the ones close are going to actually be show that one first like that, so now I'm going to put the camera in colour So now, right, so now we have an interesting shot here. So I like to show people the beauty of the churchyard and, and some of the, the backdrop. Right, so because I haven't got my filters today, because I forgot, I'm going to need the camera to give me a little bit of a hand here. So, highlight tone priority is on D2+. Plus. Helps to control all that out there. So on basic, it's a basic shot. It's just showing showing you this. So I'm lowering the contrast to actually try and help the camera actually get get the uh, up there a bit better because I haven't got my filters. That will look really moody with the filters today. I don't think I have got. Them. <laughs> so uh, far, fares and seven hundred this time. Because right, I haven't got the filters, I can't go to the strength of that clear. That base layer of clear would have looked awesome with the filters today. <clears throat> right, slightly different shot here and there. So, f2.8 on the camera. I've still got the camera in uh, highlight tone priority. Now I'm going to zoom in. A macro, I have got my macro lens on, but I don't actually need it today. Uh, now I'm going to do some of the background as well it's part of the shot and try and get the tree try and get them two trees and two yew trees in the background so they're not actually clashing with the clashing with the headstone here just gonna see what's the best shot actually here i want just to top that over there right, the camera's not working on that so this tamron lens does have an issue it's at f2.8 it just doesn't work properly at all Let's try it again yeah. 3.2 before the car comes and I'll do a black and white on that one right yeah so yeah like that Right here we have a beautiful angel looking down at the floor here, so let's see. I'm going black and white first. I'm going to put the camera into 
spot AF now so I want more control over the, what it's doing tricky shot this because you've got an extremely weight cleared up the top so I'm going to actually still have her looking down I'm not going to actually have the camera looking into her face so I can actually avoid that cleared up there I'm going to have her high, I'm going to have her head high in the thirds so she's looking down into the shot make sure that's right I'm not going to do a colour one of that I don't need to right here we can use the uh, basically look like a tunnel here it's not particularly great black and white but I'll give it a go let's have a look yeah it'll do it so I'm going to zoom in past these trees a little bit so it's actually creating some depth into the trees so you just got that in the background there so you got these white headstones here you might as well blow them out a little bit I've got to look where it clips on them about there roughly hold the exposure I know it's too bright but have the tree in the background above it have it on the thirds line yeah so just go down one now I'm going to do a colour Five thousand two hundred, five thousand three hundred. Keep it on the same. No. I think they've. Oh, I think something's gone wrong with the fire engine. <laughs> Yeah, as well. <laughs> Good <to> hear it. <laughs> Let's get another look in this woodland. Looks a very pretty woodland. Oh, it looks a. Uh, this would be a beautiful place in the autumn. The colours of the oaks and stuff like that. I mean, this must look really good, actually. <clears throat> Look at that, beautiful. Oh. oh, I do love woodlands like this, so natural. <clears throat> Just redone the camera on the uh, on the weight balance. That's better, more saturated colour, better colours. Five thousand five hundred under here. Looks pretty good. I'm trying to get this action camera to actually capture what I'm seeing not going overly bright is hard because I've got no histogram control over it so I'm going on guesswork really add a country snake country here A beautiful woodland. Cool. Always beautiful. <clears throat> so we don't have, didn't have where I come from in the fens. Absolutely nothing like this. Not even a tree in some places. <laughs> I'm doing one of my infamous walks where I don't know where I'm going I'm just walking <clears throat> right. 
let's head off to in here, shall we? See where this, see where this leads me at. It's over here. Better, better watch my step, might get wet. Back of, that's the back of Comrie here. Careful of the stream. <laughs> Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at these old trees. <clears throat> Beautiful current side here. It really is. Got trees up on the hillside over there. Absolutely stunning. <gasps> wood stove! <gasps> Look at all that wood. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't think I can fit the van down there. Oh, that's about 20 years supply there. <laughs> oh, mate! <laughs> don't think the motorhomes are going to fit down here. <laughs> That's rather posh. Don't know where I am, but never mind. It's pretty cool. <laughs> water mill, footpath, water mill, Russian Hill. Try this way. Oh, it's looking so moody today. Wow. Why is the camera so dark? Oh yeah, it will do, yeah. <clears throat> In fact, I'll have to put the brightness up. Right, I suspect this stone to be one of Bruce's, as he seems to have stones everywhere. Good old Bruce. Bruce! Right, uh... Don't look both ways. <laughs> right, where are we going? Watermill. Uh, rush, rush Hill. Can't pronounce the word. Oh, me thinks I'm going the wrong way here. Kill. Cool. I'll have to get the map out at some point. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring my bloody camera filters. You know, and look how moody that is for the filters. Oh, I love those type of shots. Oh, leading line along there, but I'm not going to do them today. I like that monument up on the hillside up there. Lovely place. Cool. I know that exactly where I am. So, no, that's in someone's garden, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know where I was going. Right. Now. Oh, so yeah, I've been here before. I've been over there. So I want to get across over there. I'm gonna get Round over there, so through this gate, round there, should take me along back round the river. Oh yes, I can see it. Oh yeah, internal satin. <laughs> so that's way back. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? <coughs> Exploring new places is always good fun. <clears throat> you don't know what you're going to find. But I do know there's a river here. Well, if you went swimming here, you're going to get your ankle wet. That's one thing. Oh, it's a bit deeper over the other side. Ooh, ooh. 
autumn comes around here a bit early but go for the red ones the red ones oh they're so nice try it green sour <clears throat> oh yes God, these are early. Christ. Oh, hang on a minute. I hope you just don't speak my bloody sugar. I'll get a po after this, you know why. <laughs> Is that deep enough to jump in? Been around here a few times though. Lovely place. What a beautiful place to go walking. There should be no overweight people out right here really. Right, I'm trying to get the camera to capture the mood, the darkness of the area, instead of having it nice and bright. So in the winter, <clears throat> in the winter months, this crashes through there. This is a massive bloody river when it floods. <clears throat> yeah, trying to capture the mood with an automatic camera, uh, which actually doesn't help you. Brilliant camera, not going to knock it, but I wish it had, a, I wish it had more manual settings on it, make it a little bit more. Bit more user friendly. Another woodland. If you're ever out this area, Comrie area in Scotland, you don't just want to walk around the town, you want to come out and explore because it's a beautiful, it's beautiful countryside. It really is. See this river, I mean, you know, imagine flooding in the winter coming through here, <sighs> you know, rushing down here like mad. I've actually got this camera set wrong again, you can see better now. So it's a big old river this one, imagine it crashing down here. I bet it takes all these trees out. <coughs> that probably happens on snow melt and stuff like that. to look pretty damn cool in the autumn you know, actually crashing through here if, if it's flooding and the colours will look nice got watch when you come walking around you've got to put the bank together bank together as you can see the effort they do The only bit you can swim in is just here. Yeah. Probably up to your knees. Can I get round here for a laugh? What's the fucking game?
don't see nobody. That's what amazes me. You know, there's no one here, is there? You know. I'll get the bloody place to myself. Right, I'll just sit down and go have a drink. Lay down here all day. <laughs> it's nice. This, believe it or not, is about 150 yards from the town. It's amazing. So it's one of me, back in the town, just a few hundred yards. The, ch the church is where I come from. We have like, uh, Quite a lot of them, we have fly, uh, flying roof angels oh, yes, uh, no, in, in we, the roofs, you know, like ham, yeah. a hammer beam and stuff no, like we that. we don't have that. It's, uh, but, but air ones date back <coughs> to the 10th century, you know, uh, quite old, but... We have our table here for Ukraine, because when Ukraine was first invaded, yes. uh, a lot of people... We have a prayer tree there, so if anybody's poor in the village, we'll put a prayer on there. And then we have a prayer meeting on a Wednesday in the church hall. And we do the yes. prayers that for, for there. Oh no, you made, you made me chuckle, said you only come here on a Sunday. <laughs> this is our kitchen. Uh, this. You wouldn't... <coughs> this used to be the vestry years yes. and years ago. Isn't it funny how they've changed, isn't it? They've changed more like a... Yeah, because the vestry is now where the organ used to be. Yes. So we had the organ taken away because it was going to cost too much to have it read down, all the leather bits had perished. Yes. So now we have a clavinova, but it sounds like an organ. And the speakers that are up above, when you go out, you'll see them, are just for show. Yes. But yes. all the, the community did this. The really? Big yes. Vintage, yeah. A certain person did the cupboards, my husband did the tiling, and somebody else. And we bought all this, end of season from being q Really? So it's much cheaper, is it? Well, yeah, because it's for a church, they did us a deal anyway. So, yeah, but it's, it's really nice. Yeah, it is, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's strange where the, these buildings have changed, you know, going with more modern yeah. times, you, you know. We used, to have, uh, we used to have pews here. Yes. Um, and I think it's about 10 or 12 years ago now we took the pews out because they had a red hot pipes under the pews which modern day children are not taught to sit down and listen. They're allowed to run around and do as they want. Well, yes. One little girl put her hands on it. And got burnt. And, yes. So we had to take it all out. We Hel don't have to. Health and safety madness. <laughs> it's under floor heating it? now. Is it? Oh my yeah. gosh, posh. <laughs> ladies toilets and men, well, they share yes. the But we yes. have the table down the bottom. <laughs> You see, we used to have the pews like that at the top. Oh, yes. Now, I can't, now, I can't remember what they call them at the back, uh, the high up. Was, was that for... A, a, Just call it a balcony. High... It probably has got a different name. Yeah, someone was saying that it, it's for more the aristocracy of the day up there. I think oh, something like that, you know. Up there when there's a wedding, especially if we don't know the people, we just nip up there to have a look. That little sneaky look. That's our coffee bar that after every service, I've just, normally, I can, we have three tables at the bottom, we have chairs all around the table, and after the service, everybody's invited to tea, coffee, biscuits, cake, whatever, yeah. every single Sunday. Yes. And this is our coffee bar. <laughs> Don't bother about my phone, I think I know who it is. Yeah, it's the mechanic. Sodom. It's just there, the Sodom. Yeah. Well, you've got, you've got to be in here a bit longer, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and that pulls it's out. It's all laid out really well, actually, isn't it? Yeah. You know, for a That pulls church. out, and we've, <coughs> up with there. we've just got a new boiler. That's a super, supersonic one. That's good. And, um, and then the donations that I get for the teas and the coffees paid for the boiler, which was £800. And... It pays for all the teas, the coffees, the biscuits. Yeah. 
and the occasional bouquet of flowers for the lady that makes the cakes. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we do here. But you don't have to give a donation. I mean, there's many people that don't, but they're still entitled yes. to the coffee and the cakes. Yes, yes. Whatever they want. And I'm sorry it's not laid out as it should be. No, I'm just saying it's, it's, it's like uh, it's like it's 18th century, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, it was uh, 1826, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, much more modern. God, it has date back to, to such an old story. We've got Saxon yeah. where we're from, so it's like uh, yeah. really weird. Anyway, thanks for that. It's, uh, also, but as I say, we have the projector there. That's every Sunday is on that wall up there, so people can't see with the hymn books. It is projected onto the wall. Really? And the cross lights up. Everything is okay. D- d- does that attract more people? Uh, so. uh, because it's a bit more modernised, you know. I think so. And this is. And this is our disabled toilet. And the reason when we redid all this... Oh, you got disabled as well. You know, that's, that's yeah. impressive for a church, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's amazing, have, really. Send it for Charles and things for ladies that come and wear all of a sudden. <laughs> that's better than most people's hairs, is actually, <laughs> in this yeah. day and age. We have two, oh, we did oh. have two wheelchairs. Obviously, somebody... Oh, there it is. I didn't even see that myself. Yeah, we have two wheelchairs. <laughs> Side. We, because when we before we redid it, um, we didn't have a disabled toilet. That was just part of this down down hall. Um, we did the ramp so that disabled people could come in the front door. Because as it was, they used to come through a side door. Yes. And we felt that that wasn't right. Why should they come through a side door? Yes. yes. So we had all this redid, and now disabled people come in the front door. Yes. And once a month, we have a sing-along, which the chairs then are put into three circles, and then we get minibuses from all the homes, from Dalvin Ross and from down the Grave, from anywhere in Creve. Do, do, do you get a lot of people here then? Yeah. You've got a good, you got what, what they call it, is it? Uh... Parish, parishioners. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, but the, the sing-along is open to Creve as well, so they bring minibuses. Yeah. Plus. And, and it started off, as a sing along for people with dementia because people with dementia can sing. Yes, so they can, yes, right. Now yes. everybody comes <clears throat> and we have tea and biscuits and cakes again. We're a cakey church. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me in here then. <laughs> we love our cakes. It's, yeah. No, it's, it's surprising because, again, where I'm from, they can't get anybody to go to churches. But they just don't want to go, you know. This is quite impressive, you know. They should take. This is because it's an old village, and I think people, the older people, were brought up to go to church. Yes, and you've got probably trying to hang on to the tradition yeah. because it's changing, you know, so much. So. That gentleman you saw, his daughter runs what they call a messy church. Yeah. And a messy church is once a month, and that's for preschool children to come. They go in the church hall. Sometimes they come in here. They play games. They have supper, and they have a scripture. And then hopefully, as they get older, they will come to church. I so, think that, that is very impressive, you, you know, it's... Uh... Yeah. <coughs> we also have a thing on a Thursday, every single Thursday, which is called Silver Circle. Not today because of the comedy fortnight. But yes. that is for the elderly, over 50s or 60s, and they come once a week. And they do that in the church hall. Uh, we have tea, coffee and cake. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we always have a speaker or a film or anybody that's like you would be interested in talking about your churches and, and sharing slides or whatever and people are interested in, in that as well mm. so we have that on a Thursday we also run transport for that Yes. so we bring people in and a lot of the time it's the only time somebody's gone out for a whole month yes that's right yeah. Yes. especially the sing-along yeah. You know, you, we we get a lot of people, and that's the only people they see in a month is there. Uh, the minister's good here. He goes around. He does a, a thing. He used to be in a pop group <laughs> years ago, and he's an ex RAF man. Oh yes. So he tells tales and stories and. Yeah, it's it's quite nice. It's a friendly church. I was going to say, I'm very very impressed. First time. It, I mean, I've photographed over 400 churches around the UK, and 
it's the first time I've met anyone with a... Did you want the lights on? No, that's okay. It's nice and moody like this, actually. I, I like it like this. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. And, and because we're an older village, an old village, um, my husband passed away unexpectedly in February. Yeah. And I was just overwhelmed with the visitors and I ended up having 118 cards from people in the church because Graham didn't come into church for a service but he brought people to church and fetched them back or did them for the silver circle or for the sing-along and he always used to say you don't need to go to church to be a Christian mm. and he's right and the whole village was round me for about six or eight weeks really to make sure that I was all right they called up and they still call up at home somebody still calls every so often just to make sure I'm all right that's good because that doesn't happen where I come from not not at all you know it, it's, we it, do, it's yeah. very we share each other's <coughs> pain and we sh and we do kind of share yeah. each other's joy yeah you know and and we're all happy when somebody else has got something nice to say yeah, yeah this yeah. is nice yeah. we don't very often if ever get backbiting or yeah, guess what yes kind of yeah thing. i know yes yes we i know that a because the minister at the top doesn't like it and b because us as elders don't like it either mm. and our best thing is if you've got something to say please say it don't go and tell her over there that what you you think about me? Tell me. Yeah, a bit like a bit like social media, isn't it? You know, yes, like, and the internet. Yeah, you know, it it's it's, uh, yeah, it's a different world. It is, yeah. But yeah, I'm very impressed, and I better go because oh, I think you. it's the garage next door phoning me. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> That's lovely. Thanks. Thank you for that. It's. Uh,